Hello again in Hi Future YouTube channel. In this uh, short tutorial, I'll show you how to install in Apache server uh, SSL free self signed uh, secu security certificate. So, on this way, you can uh, access your websites with encryption, and your username, password, or any data will be encrypted and not be able to to be stolen if you go in uh, one coffee shop or something. So let's uh, go uh, faster in the um, requirements. I have already installed uh, Apache in one Azure uh, virtual machine. How you can see when I type in the public IP address, I can see the Apache to Ubuntu default page and I activate another web virtual host azure.learnhowtodo.com into the same server so if you type the IP address is the default and additional azure.learnhowtodo.com virtual um, <coughs> website so we will activate only on this uh, azure.learnhowtodo.com SSL to show you that actually you can use different certificate for different uh, websites uh, the first, what we have to do is, uh, because it's Azure Linux uh, virtual machine, we have to open the firewall. This is a port for HTTPS, port 443. So I'm going to Linux, uh, my Linux machine, and to my network interfaces, and from there to security groups. Inside the security groups, I have to manage my inbound connections. If you're interested in my previous uh, video, you can see how we can install uh, Apache, how we can configure uh, PuTTY uh, SSH client. Here it is, inbound security rules. You can uh, see in my previous video how I also can install a virtual web host. So up to now we have a different uh, open ports. One of them is our web, which is uh, on HTTP uh, port number 80. And I have to activate now additional one. This is for HTTPS and I will call here uh, HTTPS so you don't have to memorize numbers you just have to select from service HTTPS everything is pre-selected after and click OK it will take a few seconds and you are ready in Azure to access HTTPS uh, security port protocol or port. So this is when you have Azure virtual machine. If you have uh, Amazon, you have to go to Amazon and just activate HTTPS, which is uh, port 443. This is everything what you have to do. And we closing this, we don't need any longer. Now, with SSH client, we have to log in inside in our virtual machine. And I'm typing, uh, first, uh, how I said, the server is already installed, I already show you. First, we have to activate our Apache to using SSL. This is with the command, uh, This, uh, all commands will be available in the description of this video so you don't have to really read it from here you can actually uh, take it uh, directly from the description of this video so activating this uh, um, SSL our server is ready to use uh, SSL Configuration. In this case, uh, it's saying that it's already enabled, but uh, 
this is a good step after them we have to restart our server with the sudo service apache to restart okay now we have to make uh, one directory where we will keep our security key so we're creating a directory apache in a, in a apache2 folder which we'll call ssl and let's go there okay now what we have to do we have to generate our security keys there are one public and one private we can use uh, just one uh, command which will do the both uh, keys and it will pay it will put them here in this folder SSL don't worry you can take the, this long uh, command uh, later it will have country name because I'm in Canada, I will use the two letters from CA. If you're in uh, in America, you use use US, like America, United States, and so on. State on province, Ontario, city is Toronto. Uh, organization name, um, whatever you want is your company. Um, how to do organization unit um, you can select uh, whatever it's uh, you need here for example department of learn how to do a common name that's actually your full um, domain name of the website so I have Azure dot learn how to do dot com you can type whatever domain name you want to secure email address uh, this is for the administrator so it's like for example admin at learn oops, how to do and we are ready uh, how you can see I create uh, two certificate uh, or actually one certificate and one the key the next step is um, to create uh, to activate uh, our server to read this key and using it for security encryption encrypted connection for that reason we will go to this folder apache2 sites available and how you can see i do have default configuration file this is the one which i accessing with my public ip address and i have another one azure.learn how to do dot uh, to do dot com, uh, configuration file this is the configuration file which uh, it's reading to open this uh, second website okay so now i will use this ssl config file you can use directly this file if you want to activate the default page which is with the public ip but i would particularly want to use for this azure.learn how to do so first I will copy, make a copy of this file. Okay, uh, let's make copy. I copy this default SSL, like Azure SSL.config. So now I have Azure SSL.config file. I will open it, let's make clear the file. I'll open the with the nano editor. 
So this is a predefined file. You don't have to really read everything inside, but you can modify the most important part. Okay. First is the doc document root folder. This is the directory or the folder where actually it's your website located. I put it in the folder Azure, var www Azure. Also, you can modify the, the server admin uh, email address. For example, instead of at localhost, you can put uh, azure.learnhowtodo.com. We also have to create a server name. I paste it here, server name. It's uh, Azure dot learn how to do dot com and server alias is www dot learn how to do dot com for example your domain I will not use that one so I will just comment it because I have just uh, Azure dot learn how to do so document root server admin email address server name now we have to to show our certificates if you go a little down, it's SSL engine already, it's on. And here are our certificate files and the key files. This is the place where we have to go and modify the, the folder name. So I'll delete this one here, .pn. And I'll paste uh, whatever we want it, uh, the place where we uh, put our certificates. This is uh, Apache 2 SSL Azure certificate. And the key, I'll remove this line here and I will paste it, the folder and the file which we uh, generate our key in the same folder etc apache to ssl azure.key so this is everything what you have to do now control o is to save it control x is to exit the editor after we saved the file we have to uh, enable this uh, azure file configuration file for ssl so i would azure-ssl.config now the the website azure.learnhowtodo.com with https has been activated and I have to reboot our Apache server Let's see how uh, this one can be used with HTTPS. And here it is. Your connection is not secure, but it's already with HTTPS. Why? Because we are self-signed certificate. So I click advanced and I said, yeah, I know that I didn't pay for this certificate. So I adding exception and now I open the website and it's already secured how you can see here so all connection between this uh, azure.learn how to do and your browser is encrypted so if you have uh, some data application forms you want just to manage this website remotely you can be saved now but nobody can actually read the traffic between your browser and your uh, server this is everything how you can actually install and configure your Apache to use self-signing the certificate in Azure Virtual Machine in this particular demonstration. Thank you to be with me and um, stay uh, with me if you need uh, more videos. Have a great day. Goodbye.